Hi guys and welcome to my channel, Plant Based Sweetheart. My name is Mary and if you notice an extra pep in my step, that's because I made it to 90 days, you guys. 90 freaking days of starch solution and some Mary's Mini thrown in there. What happened in 90 days? Well, you guys kind of saw a few weeks of the 90 days and then I gave it a little break because I felt like not much was happening so i started this journey december 7th honestly i was not sure that i was going to make it to exactly today march 7th first i decided i'll do 30 days and then i thought more about it and i thought okay most of the time when i do something 30 days it never sticks longer than that and i didn't want that to happen this time around so I'm like, you know what, let's do 90 days. And that's how I started out with this journey on YouTube. And you guys saw the first few weeks and then I took a break because it was just repetitive. In those 90 days, a lot has happened. Um, honestly, I'm really proud of myself for sticking to it and actually even getting further than I expected. I honestly, I feel like I should have taken a blood test to see if my cholesterol, because that was part of the reason why like I want to get my cholesterol down and my liver numbers down. I haven't had the chance, but once I do, I will make another video for that so you guys can see where I was and where I am now. But anyways, in the 90 days, what happened? I discovered what my triggers are for me it's the weekend the freaking weekends are my triggers it's like my brain just goes off to like okay it's party time chill you don't but not when you're trying to make this a lifestyle like i'm definitely trying to make this a lifestyle am i gonna be perfect was i perfect no this channel is not about perfection for me realistically I want to enjoy yummy vegan plant-based foods that are oily and all that but for the most part, I want it to be starch solution, to stay in the starch solution scope and continue eating that way. I will have fun foods here and there because that is my reality. Like I'm not gonna, you know, be perfect all the time. For the most part, like I said, I am going to stick to starch solution. It is not a diet, it is a lifestyle for me. I'm definitely making it a lifestyle. At this point, it has become a lifestyle. And one tip I wanna give you guys, and maybe I feel like I should have done this in the beginning. It depends on where you're at mentally. I think maybe if I, met, if I started out with Mary's Mini in the beginning, I don't think that I would have made it, but I'm kind of glad that I did. I think I started Mary's Mini on week seven, after week seven, seven or eight. I felt like I needed to see faster results and kind of reset my palette. And I felt like doing Mary's Mini really reset my brain like a hundred times more than when I first started the starch solution. So if you're starting out with starch solution and you're feeling a little lost, I would definitely recommend you do Mary's Mini. Here's why, because it's, very simple. It's even more simple than the starch solution. It's one starch, one non-starchy non vegetable for 10 days and that's it. So you don't have to scramble and think what, I, what kind of recipes and all that. It's very simple and I feel like I should have done that sooner because then it would have already set my... I don't know. It would have set me up better even from the beginning. But you know, that's the whole point of trial and error. So now I know anytime I'm feeling like I've gone off, go back to Mary's Mini because it just resets you mentally and definitely physically because I have lost some weight because of it. Just to emphasize my personality, I like the hard line, meaning I like a hard challenge and I typically stick to it. Why Mary's Mini works for me is because of that. While it is definitely very simple, but it is not by all means easy. For 10 days, you're eating 
pretty much the same thing every day, if not like the same variation of the same thing, just different seasoning, whatever you do. So if you are not one of those people that can follow hard lines, then this is Mary's Mini might not be for you. So one thing I didn't do on this journey was exercise. Honestly, I literally went to the park one day with my husband and walked for an hour. That was all the exercise I did. But I am planning to incorporate exercise down the line. I just don't want to pressure myself to do all these things. I just want to get really comfortable with my eating lifestyle and then I will add in the exercise lifestyle in. And that being said, I want to say I managed to still lose weight while not exercising on the search solution. So I know you guys have been waiting for this. It's finally here. So I started off at 288, you guys, 288. And now your girl is at 270, 270. I can't believe it. Hi guys, I just wanted to add something real quick. Um, so in the video, I said that I weighed 270, but the next day when I went home, I typically record at my brother's house because he has a nice big kitchen. Anyways, um, I weighed myself and I was 265 and that's a big jump because eight days prior to that, I had done a Mary's Mini and so I lost more weight and I wanted to share that with you guys because it is a big difference and that's because I weighed myself eight days before and said I was 270 because that's what I was at the time. But then the next day, it was day eight on Mary's Mini. I'm like, I might as well weigh myself and see if there's any difference. And there is. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So it's actually 265 is the weight current weight right now. And I'm so excited. I'm so proud of myself. I put in the work. And like I said, I was not perfect. And I still lost weight. So if I can do it you can do it. Although I've lost 18 pounds, almost 20 pounds, I honestly don't feel it, if that makes any sense. But when I go back and look at the first video that I posted when I first started Starch Solution and compare how I look then and now, I was wearing the same shirt. And I honestly, in that in that video, I remember like I was uncomfortable feeling like the shirt was so tight and to compare it from there to this, like I feel like the shirt has gotten loose on me a little bit. And even like when I was sitting in the video, you can see in that one, I'm sitting down and yes, my stomach is still hanging out, but um, I feel like it's not as bulgy as it was before. And I will also show you guys of me standing um, to show you guys that like, I feel like I've de-bloated basically. The 18 pounds has just like taking a balloon and kind of like letting the air out. That's how I feel at the moment. So I'm gonna give you guys a full view of me. I just wanted to point out for me when I lose weight, it always starts out with my face. So that I have definitely felt like has slimmed down and a little bit of my double chin, just a little bit. And then I feel like right here in the waist area, it has come down and the bloating, I feel like last time it was even up here a little bit more. This time it's a little bit lower. So that's what I meant like de-bloating. That's what I wanted to show you guys so that maybe for the next update, you guys have another, you know, before and after to see and we can go back. Maybe I'll just wear this shirt all the time. I've noticed when I wear things that are a little too tight, um, they're shorter. And then as I slim down, they get longer. So let's see if this becomes a full on maxi dress. No, I'm just kidding. That's not going to happen. <laughs> but you know what I mean, in case it gets longer. So I feel so proud of myself for starting something and finishing and honestly, I am going to continue because I feel so damn good. I'm so proud. I've worked so hard and I've managed in the 90 days to keep re-motivating myself and I plan to continue 
on this health journey while I'm trying to get pregnant and hopefully during my pregnancy. Also, I wanna let you guys know, I'm gonna take better before and after pictures. Honestly, I've never been a fan of taking full body pictures because obviously I feel insecure, but I do want you guys and for myself too to see the transformation. So moving forward, when I do have my updates, I will definitely try to have like before and after pictures so you guys can see the the changes as time goes. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, you guys have been so sweet, so nice in the comments and so supportive and I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys stick around for the rest of my journey and that's going to be continuing on eating healthy and trying to solutionize things for you so that it's fun but still still healthy and oil free again i just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support your kind words on youtube on instagram thank you so much and in the groups you guys have been so motivating it's so nice to see people doing the same thing and we're all in this together and i just want to say thank you thank you for following me and I hope you guys stay tuned because there's a lot more, lot more fun and oil-free recipes coming your way.